Hello YouTubers, in the book of 2nd Esdras, we find a very specific prophecy that outlines which nations are God's enemies. First, allow me to give a brief introduction to chapters 15 and 16 of 2nd Esdras. I think BibleWise.com sums up 2nd Esdras very well. Pretty much the whole book is an apocalyptic work that deals with signs of the end times. Even though it is found in the Apocrypha of the Old Testament, it was written during the time of the New Testament around a hundred years after the time that Revelation was written. Many biblical scholars consider the book to be a Christian work, not a Jewish work. Here is a quote from Bible Wise. Second Esdras 15 through 16 is comprised of oracles anticipating the demise of God's enemies while offering encouragement to those who are being persecuted. Many scholars believe that this is actually a Christian document dating back to the third century CE. But the evidence is not as convincing as it was with 2nd Esdras 1 through 2. Nonetheless, Christians were having a rough time in the Roman Empire during this time, so it fits historically. The whole idea is that they should continue to be faithful because the end of the time is near. God is about to intervene in the world. Several scholars have pointed out that if this book was really written in the 3rd century, it offers a peek into what Christian life was like at that time. Plus, it shows that the Christians simply appropriated Jewish apocalyptism into their own situation. Needless to say, there are many parallels with the book of Revelation. The book ends with a warning and a promise. The warning is not to be involved in evil ways. The promise is that they will be rescued. Enemies who have been oppressed and killed God's people will, in turn, be dealt with harshly. God is a God of justice, and God's people can depend on this. So despite what you may have heard, Revelation probably isn't the last book written that's still found in the Bible. The last book written is probably 2nd Esdras, using much of the same terminology as Revelation. It could be viewed as an extension of Revelation. My view is that 2nd Esdras is actually talking about the end times, much like Revelation is. It's not talking about the Roman Empire, no more than the book of Revelation is talking about the Roman Empire. So now that we understand what 2nd Esdras is, what does it say about who God's enemies are? Allow me to ask a question that you might find to be a bit silly and unrelated. Why did America assassinate General Soleimani? Despite what you may have heard in the media, the reason is because Soleimani was on a diplomatic mission to Saudi Arabia. He was trying to make peace between Saudi Arabia and Iran. Now you may think that Iran having an alliance with Saudi Arabia is a good thing, but I'm going to show you that the Bible predicts that alliance and indicates that it's the beginning of a horrible vision. In these verses, the dragons of Arabia is an obvious reference to Saudi Arabia. Carmania is the largest province in Iran, now called Kerman. So Carmania is either referring to Iran or maybe just the Kerman province. Note that verse 30 makes clear that the Carmanians join with Saudi Arabia in battle to destroy a portion of the land of Syria. Afterwards, the alliance will break and Saudi Arabia will begin to persecute Iran because Saudi Arabia is evil. As the verse states, the dragons will remember their nature. What we need to understand is that Saudi Arabia is an enemy of God, but Iran likely isn't. Unfortunately, because they will make an alliance with the dragons of Arabia, they will be punished by the breaking of that alliance. Still, the passage doesn't indicate that the Carmanians are God's enemies. Likewise, they should not be our enemies. But Saudi Arabia is God's enemy, yet we do everything we can to support them. It's time to stop our support of Saudi Arabia. Yet another one of God's enemies is Asia, which is likely referring to China. Remember in Revelation, Babylon the Great is promised destruction, and, well, Revelation doesn't have anything good to say about Babylon. And if you study Revelation, Babylon the Great is actually a reference to either Israel as a nation or the city of Jerusalem. In verse 30, Asia is compared to Babylon the Great, so clearly Asia is an enemy of God. And keep in mind, this verse doesn't mean that Israel and China will become allies, although that's possible. What it means is that China will become like Babylon. That is, China will become like Israel and that China will whore herself among the nations, much as they already do. I want to remind you that these passages were very likely written after the book of Revelation was written, by about a hundred years. 
This is important because it shows how early Christians understood the book of Revelation. For today, what you should understand is that the nations that are clearly indicated to be God's enemies are the two nations that have already advocated for war with, namely Saudi Arabia and China. Also, both Egypt and Syria are promised woe. Though the woe that comes to them is probably because Babylon, Saudi Arabia, and China bring woe to those nations. That's all the time that I have for today. If you like this video, please show your support by subscribing. Thanks for your time.